Awesome. Well, great to see you all again. Uh, I'm excited to be here after our opening weekend of conference play. We were down at Omaha and Kansas City uh, for two matches there, um, playing against the two teams that were in the conference tournament championship last season. Uh, and now we turn our attention this week being at home, which we're really excited to be back in the Betty. And we've got Oral Roberts on Thursday. We've got Denver on Saturday. Uh, but really excited to be getting going with conference play and getting to play some opponents that we're a little more used to seeing year in and year out um, and continue to see different performances from different uh, younger athletes that continue to shine. Uh, Vanessa Washington's here and she'll be up in a minute, um, but she had a phenomenal game against Kansas City with 11 kills, hitting almost 400. Uh, we also got to see Vanessa Emo uh, shine for the first time in her career. She got to come out against UMKC and hit over 300 in her uh, first career start for us as well. Um, so really excited about some of our younger athletes that are performing for us, uh, as well as some of our older athletes continuing to be strong in a lot of different phases. Um, so excited to get going this week at home at the Betty against Oral Roberts and Denver. Coach, what was your big takeaway from the from the first two? <laughs> yeah, kind of. You know, we talked last week. Uh, you know, what is the profile of the Summit League and, and where are teams really strong? And uh, as we mentioned last week, was that the serving and passing game in the conference continues to get stronger and stronger and stronger. And so we've had uh, we've had multiple matches this year where we've been absolutely dominant from the service line. And then we go to Omaha and they do a really nice job of knocking us off the net and uh, not allowing us to run our offense through the middle third of the court, which is something that we really like to do. Um, and then we go and we play Kansas City and they had 10 aces in four sets, which is a ton of aces. And uh, I think it's the most aces that anybody's had against us thus far this year. Um, and so to be able to go out and battle against two really good serve and pass teams and to see that we're holding our own in that phase as well, but we're also going to be challenged in that way was uh, was cool for us to know, okay, this is an area that we can grow and that we can continue to get better at as we get deeper into conference play. Did you have to do some adjusting personnel-wise there? Um, maybe see some new faces with some, some things there? Yeah, we, um, you know, unfortunately, we um, we had to make a lineup change in the Omaha match, um, and Elizabeth Norris did a really nice job for us playing all the way around in that match. And then we had Vanessa Emo come in for us uh, against Kansas City and did a phenomenal job on the right side there. And so a little bit of adjustment as we had to work through a couple different things lineup wise. But again, really proud of our team for sticking together through a lot of that adversity and continuing to battle and get better over time. Uh, are the are the changes from from last week to this week? tuning up some minor things or you know what what kind of changes do you have to make to to get on the right track there yeah you know i think for us after going back and watching the film from the weekend um, we were incredibly competitive with both of those teams. We're going 29-27 with Omaha. Uh, we play Kansas City and, and we lose in four sets but uh, I know we've mentioned this in the past, but volleyball is one of those unique sports where you can outscore your opponent and still lose. And we actually outscored Kansas City in that four set match. Um, unfortunately, we, we didn't win the points when it mattered, um, but we knew that we were in a spot where we're really competitive against those teams. And for us, it's fine tuning just a couple little details. Can we be more disciplined with our floor defense? Um, can we take advantage of different situations with our block defense when they're given to us? Uh, and then can we stay clean with our setting choices and with our setting locations so that it allows our hitters to be, couldn't be put in really good spaces where they can be really effective? And so those are areas that we've been really strong in the past. And we had a weekend where we weren't at what we're usually at with our standard. But uh, it's encouraging to know that we clean up a couple things and we're already competitive with these teams. And so when you clean those things up, it's going to really help us out and being better in the long run later in the season. Do you think playing at home and having that environment will change up things for you guys? I think for us, it's it's a couple of things. It's one, being able to sleep in our own beds and get a good night's rest. Um, it's being able to play in front of our crowd and our fans, which are always so amazing and so supportive. Um, and it's a different energy from that perspective. But at the end of the day, it's 900 square feet. You know, it's the same size court. It's the same height net. Uh, it's going out and doing the things that we know we can do every single day. Um, but it definitely helps knowing that we're going to have some uh, some friendlier fans and some better sleep before we go into those matches. Are there any key players on ORU's team that you got to keep your eye out for heading into that match? Yeah, Trinity Freeman is an absolute beast. Um, she has been her entire career at Oral Roberts, and she carries a really heavy load for that team. Um, and we've got a lot of teams in our conference that are very similar in that profile. Right? Kansas City, uh, when we played them, Kaya Dunford took 50 swings in that match, and our most set attacker had 23 swings. So our two most set attackers had less swings than she had on her own. And so we're going to see that from South Dakota State when they set Sylvie uh, a million balls. We're going to see that from Denver when they set Cassie Davis a ton of balls. And we're going to see that from Oral Roberts when they set Trinity Freeman a ton of balls as well. Um, now, the flip side of that is they've got somebody that can carry a really big load. But if you can contain one person, then it really makes it challenging for them to continue to do what they want to do. Um, so it's going to be a fun little challenge for us. 
Absolutely. How do you guys plan to keep the team's energy and focus high during like long rallies and tight sets? Yeah, yeah, I think that's the fun stuff, right? Like we play volleyball because we love it to be competitive and we love, uh, we talk all the time, like if you win a set 25-0, that's actually really boring, right? It's actually really fun where it's neck and neck and you're battling back and forth against a really good opponent. And so we live for those moments. We really enjoy the, the competition and the, we call them mega rallies. Like how many mega rallies can we have where the ball's crossing the net multiple times? Um, and so really it's just continuing to do the things that we've done all year that have led us to the success that we've had and making sure that we keep pounding the rock in those phases. All right, coach against Omaha, you know, they had a high hitting percentage, you know, through those three sets. You know, how do you speak to your defense on, you know, what to look out for so a team doesn't, you know, rally off a bunch of points like that? Yeah, Omaha has always been a very, very effective team offensively, and that continues this season. Um, they they obviously won the championship last year and they brought back every single one of their attackers from last year's team. Um, and so we knew that we were going to play an experienced team that was really, really good in that phase. Um, now, I thought we actually did a pretty nice job of executing our scouting report and putting ourselves in the positions that we wanted to be in. Uh, we just didn't quite capitalize on all of the opportunities that we had. And so knowing that our scout was there, our execution could be a little bit better and a little bit cleaner in that phase is uh, ultimately it's encouraging because we know that we're going to get another crack at them back home at the Betty in the future. Um, and it's going to be a chance for us to see, okay, have we had growth in this phase and are we getting better at the things that we know we can improve? All right. And, you know, you've talked about, you know, being back at the Betty. Um, you know, what's something you want to see out of this team, you know, with their first home game in the Summit League? Yeah, I think just continuing to come out and show people who we are and how we want to be in every single moment. When we're able to play UND volleyball the way that we like to play, we're really hard to play against, regardless of who's on the other side of the net. So can we show up as, as UND and who we are in every single moment?